space if all aliens wanted is a planet they would have gotten rid of us long long time ago so the fact that they're keeping us alive is because they need us they want us but what do they want from us so if uh, these people that control the planet are the ones that invented money they own money they own everything physical about this plane they own your body they own everything so what is the one thing that you can't put a price tag on what do we have that's so valuable this goes way deeper than any of us can imagine this next thing i'm gonna say is not for everyone Back in uh, 2016, 2017, I used to watch a lot of, uh, for example, reptilian shape-shifting videos on the internet, on YouTube spe uh, especially. There were so many of them. And I thought, well, in two or three years from now, uh, there will be so many videos that they will, uh, the elites will not actually be able to take them all down. And boy, oh boy, I was so wrong. They took all of them out. Pretty much all of them. Now you can't find any of them. All of you, all the uh, reptilian shape shifting videos that I used to watch, you know, when uh, random videos from the news or whatever, uh, yeah, they're all gone. Why was it so important to get rid of all these videos? And for those of us who are awake enough, we would understand that these videos were actually real. The uh, reptilian shape shifting concept is actually real and that's why it was so important to get rid of all these videos. Uh, I actually got to save some of those videos but I will tell you that they're not the best. But in the end, uh, they are a clear representation of what I'm talking about and what uh, David Icke and uh, these conspiracy theories have been talking about. About uh, people in the news or celebrities that are actually a uh, reptilian race of aliens. I am fascinated about these subjects, but uh, that is not what I, what I want to tell you. What I want to tell you is that within these videos that were deleted, thousands of videos of uh, alien related videos that were deleted on YouTube, there was one of them that stood, um, that caught my attention the most, which was a video I did not save. Uh, I mean, pretty much right now you just have to <laughs> take my word for it because I, have, I, I haven't seen this video again. But uh, this guy with a huge telescope, uh, one of those uh, thousands that cost thousands of thousands of dollars. So uh, this guy had this uh, telescope um, that uh, reproduced uh, an image through the computer. So you could get a much clearer image of what you were recording uh, uh, in space. So uh, this particular day, this guy recorded at night, uh, just uh, out here in the atmosphere. There were a bunch of lights and flashes, but if you actually looked at the uh, at the image, it looked like an like an alien war. Now, the guy in the video never actually said anything about aliens. He just he just uh, said that he didn't know what the hell was going on because you couldn't actually tell. But for those of us that are actually uh, informed a little bit of what aliens can do and the uh, the velocities that they can they can uh, achieve, we could actually see that he was recording an alien war. I mean, you couldn't even tell who was who or what the hell was going on. So, I mean, you couldn't even tell. Like, there were thousands and thousands of those lights uh, just flying against each other. You couldn't even tell anything at all. It were just like little flashes, which, um, yeah, I actually thought there were explosions and a bunch of lights going just out here in the atmosphere. You know, it reminded me a lot of this scene from Star Wars, the episode three, you know, at the beginning, that uh, they have this uh, huge war like right in the atmosphere of this planet or uh, a scene from the video games the mass effect uh where they uh i think it was mass effect 3 that they had this huge alien war imagine something like that but a thousand times faster all you could see is a thousand little dots maybe even a million they were yeah maybe there were a million dots just flying all around and exploding and doing whatever as well it is not the first time that i know of uh, alien wars happening somewhere there are rumors now of Russia being at war with some kind of alien species, but I don't, I don't think they're aliens. I, I think they're actually terrestrial, but uh, one of those advanced civilizations that we don't have access to. But anyway, there's a rumor that Russia is uh, at war with aliens underwater. There are claims of alien wars happening underground as well. I heard these claims from Emery Smith uh, from Gaia, although I don't believe everything I hear from Gaia because I think it's a government project uh, 
they mix you lies with truths so that you don't have a clear picture of reality but anyway i mean we're hearing these things over and over again this video i'm telling you about i mean i cannot find it anywhere uh yeah it was definitely deleted uh my suspicion is because it was actually real queen elizabeth said once the third world war will be a holy war what does she mean by holy war well holy wars is pretty much just a spiritual war that's what uh, has been happening with uh, society now. Like everybody's fighting a spiritual war. Uh, we're living that climax, the good versus evil, light versus dark. And uh, out here in the atmosphere, I am convinced actually that there's a, there's a war between benevolent and malevolent alien species. But anyway, that is just my opinion. As well, if there, uh, if there is actually a war, what, what is everybody fighting for? What are we fighting for? And they're fighting for what the planet if that was actually the case if all aliens wanted is a planet they would have gotten rid of us long long time ago so the fact that they're keeping us alive is because they need us they want us so uh what they want is us so what do they want from us so if uh these people that control the planet are the ones that invented money they own money they own everything physical about this plane they own your body they own everything what do you think the uh, social security is? <laughs> it is ownership of your being. So what is the one thing that you can't put a price tag on? We humans are just cattle for these rulers of the world. But what do we have that's so valuable? Your soul. Oh man, we're gonna go deep. I hope you're ready. We are living a holy war and it is a battle for your soul. So we gotta keep in mind that the Anunnaki, the first aliens that invaded humans, came here to mine supposedly gold. But now we know that Sakaria Sichin, the one that interpreted the uh, clay tablets, uh, was actually wrong. And, then, and uh, there's never actually a word for gold in the Sumerian tablets. But what if he changed it a little bit so that he doesn't have to say they came here to mine souls? It's actually, it's actually a very similar word, gold and soul. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, your soul is more valuable than anything in this planet. All this system, this matrix, these uh, events, everything is for the control of your soul. Now, I'm not religious here, but I use religious terms to explain everything because uh, it is a very simple way to say things. And the Bible says that we were created in the image of likeness of our creator or the creator of the universe. Now you can interpret this the way you want to, but in the end, it means that your soul is part of the source that created the universe. So your soul is, you can call it God. Your soul is the universe. Your soul is an infinite amount of energy. It's an infinite source of energy. So long after you're dead, all of us are dead, your soul will remain because it is eternal. You cannot destroy energy. You can only transform it. Your soul is your own energy, your own biological energy. It is what fuels us. The same kind of energy it is what fuels all life in a universe. So that tells us that we are far more powerful and important than we have been taught. Of course, all of our lives they tell us that, oh, you puny human, you're not capable of anything. You, you can't do anything, you can't govern yourselves. That you are weak, we are stupid, and we need our governments to think for us. And well, it is actually a good thing that we're waking up, no? From every angle you want to look at it, if you look at ancient uh, books and scripts and uh, teachings, all of them have been saying that there has been a war for the control of your soul. And the Bible uh, says that Satan is trying to gather as many souls as uh, he can. But now in modern times, in our physical realm, now it is proven that aliens have entered our reality and they've always been here. We can call them demons and angels. There is a war between demons and angels, a holy war. So in other words, people, we are God. And all this is happening because there are beings interested to keep us ignorant of this uh, fact. And there are other entities that are like us and they want us to know our full potential. But just to wrap it up, I think all of this is very interesting because it confirms everything that we, the awakened people, were feeling and thinking for a very long time. 
and uh, all of this has been unfolding right before our eyes. My question to you is that now that you know that you're God, let's imagine and picture in your mind that you already accepted the fact that you're God. What do you want to do now? Now that you know that you're capable of anything, now that you know that you can manifest anything that you want because that is your divine right. You're the creator of your own reality. You know that double slick experiment uh, made with those quantum particles pretty much uh, proved to us that we create our own reality. It all starts with the observer. Now, what do you want to observe? Now visualize it and the more energy you put into that vision combined with action, lifestyle, so on and so on, that vision has to become reality because it is a law of the universe. So uh, we shape reality and the universe. How fun is it to know that? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you liked the video, then consider like and subscribing and leave me a comment. We'll have a conversation on that too. And wish you the best for all of you amazing gods out there. I'm out.